Hi guys, welcome back to Sim UK. We're on day 37. Uh, what did we do last week? We started this research, didn't we? Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, there it is. Multi-lane access. It's at 2% at the moment. I think that's going to improve things considerably. What is this? Light rail train. So we've got a train running down there. We've got single lane access at the moment that's going to become double lane which should stop this congestion and make things flow much easier i still like your idea guys of coming in here and doing this but i'm going to build be building a fourth gate up here um which i think is a standby gate i understand if i understand what this means uh, maybe there's a bit more information. Standby gates can be used to improve airport operations by reducing the number of cancelled or delayed flights. Yeah, so in my understanding, that's literally somewhere for a plane to park and wait um, if they can't get onto the main gate here, which could have a knock on effect. You know, every plane after it might end up in there as well. But um, if it reduces cancellation, then that's a good thing. Uh, I don't know how much cancellation we have. Is there a way of checking status? Uh, that's all good. Let's have a look at yesterday. Departed, 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 departed. Okay, that looks absolutely perfect then. That honestly, um, maybe that was a waste of money having that, buying that gate. But then having said that, if we do have one, then at least that's like a fail safe, um, which is good because you don't want airplanes uh, being turned away, really. Now, the SKU system seems to be working OK. But that's a lot of people to process. I mean, that's the only thing, isn't it? They seem to get through there pretty quickly. I mean, security is working well. People do seem to be exiting this way mostly. Maybe it's not wide enough, which is why some are still coming this way. Uh, we're going to have to look at that, address that somehow at some point. I don't really know. We do need to expand down this way for security just because there's so many flipping people. Uh, I suppose we could move all of these ID desks back by one and just have ID desk coming all the way down here. Um, and then that could open that top section up or something. I don't know. That could be addressed later. I think for now, the way things are, that's working fine. We've got like an army of food workers. So this restaurant should be working fine. Um, we've got a whole load of new stuff that we can add to this area. But uh, I'm not going to focus on that just yet because I, today I desperately want to get this cafeteria, the central hub of the airport, the cafeteria here. I want to get that sorted. So let's speed time up because obviously we're going to need money coming in. And uh, let's start by building a foundation. Now I'm going to build it this side. We're not going to get much built. I'm hoping those colours will stay as they uh, as they build the foundation. I mean, that alone is enough to move this small cafeteria area out. So I'm quite happy doing that. So that's going to be the queue not enough money oh man we've gone into debt when did that happen <laughs> sneaky blighters um get rid of that wall the double wall problem right okay we've got some cash now so we know the first set of tables are going to go here so let's just plop those down. That's enough for now. Um, no, that must be in the wrong place. Cash registers, let's get this sorted out. 
So, I mean, this was a decent bit of planning here. Fairly convinced this is going to work seamlessly. I'm actually happy to leave that section there because I'm probably going to put a, a bin at the end. Uh, let's have a queue. Let's not have the queue go that way. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's have the queue go this way. What was that noise? Okay, so that's the queue system. We're going to need some chairs. Right, let's just slow that down a second then. So what do these guys need? They need to be assigned to the kitchen. What I should be doing is this. Kitchen and the queue. Kitchen and the queue. Kitchen and the queue. And these just need the queue added. Queue. Queue. Good. Boom, 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 boom. Excellent. Now, we can make this zone a cafeteria. Like so. And immediately, we've got a problem. Why isn't that a functional cafe zone? It is. Good. Excellent. That's done. Let's get rid of this queue. Because that queue is an abomination. And uh, let's start by getting rid of these. Nope. Dismantle. Dismantle. Oh man, it must be really dirty there. Dismantle. And we can start taking these tables out. Now last time when I got rid of the cafeteria area it caused so many problems. So this time I'm going to be as careful as I can. I say that. Nobody's sitting on them. That Somebody might sit down before it gets taken away. That's the problem. Right. Well, that seems to be working quite a bit better than it was. Uh, I think I'll take the rest of the cafe away at night and we do need to expand out here. I don't think we have enough to do that at the moment. Let's just check. Yeah, nowhere near enough. We need 40 grand for that. That's fine. By the end of today or by the end of tomorrow, we should have enough cash to expand the cafeteria further this way. And uh, that looks pretty neat and tidy. I quite like that. That's worked out rather well. What's the problem here? Oh god. Because I took the cash registers away, these guys are all stuck. Let's see if I can send them home. I mean, that would be awesome if I can get rid of them. No, it looks like this guy's going to be the problem. You're going to be my problem, child. Okay, well, last time saving and reloading the game seem to fix that problem so hopefully that'll be the case here uh, right let's see how well that works what what have I forgotten to uh, dismantle that's that's the question this one that's done please go home sir yeah good lad good lad oh you smart people they'll just sit on anything honestly you look to be stuck madam go home brilliant so that actually went reasonably well let's get rid of that cafeteria oh yes that that has improved things i'm a lot happier about that now
So yes, I'm in a position now where we can start thinking how to do the gate situation. Now this gate system, this queuing system here seemed to work really well. Uh, so I think I'm going to implement that up here. So let's go one, two, three, four. Like that. Oh, oh, that got wonky. That got wheelie wonky. Like so. Oh, except I put that way, way too close to the uh, to the gate. I didn't mean to do that. All right, ditch. Start again. So easy to get things wrong on here. Right, so that's the gate style I'm going for here. We'll just quickly assign this to all three gates. We'll do the same with this. It would be nice, guys, if uh, when it's assigned, the background colour changed to green or something, to some a visual indication that uh, that that's been assigned properly. But that seems to work. That looks pretty good. Hopefully, that will speed up that gate processing because we've had a few little issues there over time, uh, and we just need to expand this cafeteria out, and then I think we're good. I think we're good to go then. And these, these uh, restrooms over here seem to work really well. So I think I'll keep that as it is and just implement the same thing over here. That seems to be the most logical uh, the w most logical way of doing it. I like that system. It, it's, uh, it's worked out rather well. A lot better than I was thinking it would. What is going on here? What is going on here? What the hell has happened there? Who are all these people and why are they just standing still in that area? What the hell? That is a complete failure and that would explain why we have little to no money coming in today holy cow all these people have to leave now otherwise it's a case of stop save the game and restart what in the hell happened there what caused that issue There are a lot of stuck people there. Oh gosh, right, we're going to have to save and come back to this in a second. Alrighty, so I saved it, uh, reloaded the game. We've got a lot of stuck people. I don't think these guys are moving. I don't know what they're doing. Okay, they have gone. So I'm hoping that was caused by me sort of moving the cafeteria area and not because security itself is uh, too tightly packed together or something like that. That would be a serious, serious issue if that was the case. Just have to keep an eye on it and see what I think appears to be causing the problem. Ticketing is fine. That's pretty smooth. Security seems fine right now. People are flowing through there so quickly. Um, maybe it's when people are exiting it's causing the problem. I'm going to have to do some looking around, some research, maybe watch some other people playing, see if I can figure out a better system for getting people out. Because half of them are going down that exit strip, but not all of them. And it is annoying. 
but um, that looks considerably more comfortable and neater than it ever has been. This <laughs> maze of uh, a queue over here, I think we need to resolve that. So let's let's start by tidying this absolute shambles up. Right, so basically, it's not too bad, but it just needed a tidy. In fact, they're all a bit wonky, aren't they? I think I might get rid of this line, uh, tidy that one up, bring this down, and do it like that. Oh, you didn't. Why didn't you attach yourself to that one. I mean, clearly that's where I want to go from. So this sort of L reversed L shape uh, system with three appears to work pretty well. I'm quite happy with its design. Um, Although I'm finding it difficult to get to the third queue. That's the one on the left. That's the one on the right. But I can't seem to assign anybody to the middle one. Even though it does seem to be assigned. So we'll just leave that for now. I think that's going to work. And that will keep things neat and tidy and organised. Now I've got this little bit of a... Uh, I've got this bugbear over here about this, this failed shape system. But we can come to that later. There's no point wasting more money on that right now. Security seems to be running okay. Plane seems to be running okay. Let's just have a look and see how bad uh, yesterday was. Departed, 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 departed. Cancelled. Failed to reserve a gate. Ah, oh, so the last three of the day just fell apart. So having that security failsafe gate uh, might well be a good investment now. So let's have a look here. Gates. Let's try that again. Gates. I don't know why I did that. Uh, airplane gate large. Does it have to be... Ah, uh, now, that's a good question. Does it have to be bound to a gate agent desk? Oh, that's a new feature. Highlight passengers. Hey, that's cool. So you can see where the passengers for that flight are. I think that's new. I, I don't recall having seen that before. Anyway, assign to A3. What? Oh, you can call it whatever you like, basically. Okay. But how do you make it, how do you make it a, uh, how do you make it a standby gate? Ability to designate standby gates. Mm hmm. How do you do that though? Is it in here? Maybe at the bottom? Standby? No? Well, I have absolutely no idea how to make a standby gate. I'm going to have to research that. Bugger. That's a bit of a limitation, isn't it? Okay, speed things up. Things seem to be running better today. I guess all the issues we had yesterday or earlier... Um, hopefully at least were completely due to the um the removal of the cafeteria here it must have just had a, a weird knock-on effect type problem um don't really know what else to say about that but we'll expand the cafeteria now the cafe seems to be running a lot better 
We'll check the flights today and make sure that everybody got out on time. And I think I think we'll be good then. I think that will be I think that will be a successful expansion and uh, a job well done. Pop those in there. So easy, so easy with this dodgy mouse system to put stuff in the wrong place. It is so ridiculously easy to get it wrong. Right, change this zone to cafe. Just make this whole area cafe. Boom! Let's get rid of this tiny bit of wall here. So, uh, we still want to expand the cafe out just a little bit more, but I think there's enough seating area now that everybody can get served and sit down quickly, quietly, with no issues. And what I might do is just add a bin sort of next to each table. I'm not sure what's going on with these glitchy guys over here. Looks a bit like they've got themselves stuck again. There's a food worker stuck there. All right, we'll wait until everybody's gone home and then see if we can sort that out. Because that is very annoying, <laughs> I have to say. Uh, planning, let's go cyan for the whole area here. Keep it looking nice. Now, is that queue big enough? Because there are quite a lot of people trying to get food right now. No serious issues. That's definitely more effective than it was. And obviously we've only got this left hand side working at the moment. So in when this other half here, this other section to the cafeteria is fixed, we'll just realise something. This will speed things up as well. Um, yeah, excellent. So we'll get more prep carts in here and we'll have just basically the same thing on the other side here. And, and then I think the cafeteria is going to run super, super efficiently. A bit concerned about these passengers. Highlight passengers. Look, at, look how many are in the cafeteria. How long have they got? Oh, they've got a bit of time. Let's just see. They, they've they all been served. And they've still got half an hour. So that's working. That is working. Uh, and when we do the same thing here, it should double our efficiency. But I've just, I've just spotted uh, that we do have this issue here. sorted people getting stuck is a real pain in the ass i don't like it much but when it's quiet like this and you can see what we've built um that's actually looking pretty smart i i i feel um and now is actually a good time just to finish off yeah we haven't got enough we haven't got enough to do the whole security area but that's okay because i'm quite happy to have a wall at the end of the cafeteria anyway so let's just do that. Speed things up. And we'll finish off this side of the cafeteria and then then I'm happy, guys. I feel like that was a, a big part of what needed to be done to make it all nice and neat and tidy. Uh, so let's get some tables. Yeah, we're, I'm going to leave a gap down there. I'm going to leave a gap down there. 
Oops. Try not to put anything where it shouldn't be. That will do for now. That will do for now. Looking pretty smart, guys. I hope you agree. Let me know in the comments section if you like what we've built. If you think I'm doing a good job, then give me a thumbs up. Um, and if you have any suggestions, if you think I'm not doing a good job and you think I could be doing this and this better, then let me know. Let me know in the comments section. I'll be very happy to hear your thoughts on that. Um, only thing I think I do want to do is maybe sort this queue out quickly. Oh, do you know what? I wish I hadn't done that now. No, I don't like it. Ah. <laughs> uh. I'm a bit too, bit too pernickety sometimes um, about certain things, but uh, I'm just trying to make it look and operate and feel good and nice and look good at the same time. There we go. Much happier with that. Assign to 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 that, uh, assign to that, assign to that. I also think that uh, with cash registers and um, and queues that people shouldn't leave the queue and go to a cash register until they're called by a member of staff. I think that's the better way to do it. That would definitely run better. Uh, now, I'm going to be honest. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking I want to shift everything in here up by one that is a massive massive bit of work for not a lot of uh positive <laughs> return on in on time invested so i'm going to leave it there guys it's half two in the morning i hope you like how the airport is expanding um it seems to be running pretty well on the whole since we've uh, made these changes a bit of tidying up and a bit of neatening um, required across the board, but we are working on a very limited budget. And obviously, as a result of that, I need to consider a fourth gate. Um, I know you guys have recommended it. And I've also, I want to do this uh, garbage deliveries uh, thing that you guys suggested. I think that's a good idea. I have implemented this double lane thing, but I don't think that's been applied. Oh, this is the double lane thing. I'll tell you what, we've got a bit of cash. Well, I don't know. I don't know how much a section of road is going to cost us. $8,000 for one section of road. Okay, so I won't be building an additional road just yet, but... Um, Yes, we do need more money coming in. I quite agree. But uh, this kitchen uh, restaurant area was really bugging me. And I'm so glad now that that's done. Um, I can I can reorganise the kitchen area as well. And make that more efficient too. So thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. Until next time. Goodbye for now.